Hey, 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 what's up, guys? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I don't know if it's a night, wherever you're watching us from. I know many of the guys are watching us all over the world. This is the special edition of the Holy Spirit Bad, Bring of the Decatas of Resurrection Life Church, Pastors David and Amy Chambade. And guess what? Today I am so excited about what we're going to be drinking. Every bottle has a scripture, and there's a particular scripture. No, you're gonna enjoy today. It's such a incredible one. And don't miss out. I would like to hear from you. Let's hear from you. Get, send in your comments. Uh, please like and share our different platforms. Holy Spirit Bad, that's the Facebook account. And the Holy Spirit Bad, Facebook and Instagram platforms. I know you like to do what men are same. Check this out. I'm so excited about this. Amen. Praise God, everyone. My name is Amuza Samuel, and I'm from Praise Life Church, Lugoa. Today, um, I'm going to preach. Amen. So, let us open the book of Matthew, chapter 9, verse 20 to 24, which says, A woman who had suffered from se severe bleeding for 12 years came up behind Jesus and touched the edge of his cloak. She said to, her, to herself, if I only touch his cloak, I will get well. Jesus turned around and saw her, and she said, Courage, my daughter, your faith has made you well. At that very mo moment, the woman became well. Then Jesus went into the official's house. Then he saw the magicians for his funeral. Amen. So our theme today is going to be about faith. The first question is, what is faith? Where does faith come from? So, this woman, the Bible says that this woman was suffering from severe bleeding for 12 years. 12 years. So, and she had the faith that if I touch Jesus' cloak, I will get healed. Imagine that faith, just touching somebody's cloak to get healed so and as i was reading this verse the holy spirit revealed to me that it's, that it's it is by faith we overcome the situation if this woman did not have the faith that if i touch jesus's cloak i'll get healed she would have she should have not gotten healed but she had the faith even faith the bible says that even faith small as a mustard seed can move a mountain so if you have faith small as a mustard seed do not you can move a mountain you can move and your shadow you can move all your shadow hills amen so we should have the faith in this pandemic most people think that they are not going back to school they are not going to get their jobs back just because they don't have the faith inside them so if you have faith that i can do this you can do miracles signs and wonders this woman had the faith that if i touch jesus's cloak i'll get you now what about you what about you so we need to have faith even uh, although as small as a mustard seed when, when Jesus was in the boat with his disciples, the story in the Bible, when Jesus came the storm, the disciples were all wondering what's wrong, what's happening, we are going to die. But they woke up Jesus and Jesus asked them, where is your faith? Where does your faith come from? So even you're supposed to ask that question to yourself. Where does your faith come from? Where is it? So we should have faith in the Lord. Because if this woman didn't have the faith that if she touches Jesus' cloak, at least just mere touching, she would have gotten healed. Now, if you compare this scripture in the normal situation, what? What, what is your situation? You don't have money? You don't have food? Have faith. 
that I will get this because the Bible says that through faith we overcome. So if you have the faith now, what's impossible for you to overcome the situation you are going through? Is it poverty? Because the Bible says that we have authority. Satan, Satan, Satan has powers. He has everything, but one thing he doesn't have. He doesn't have authority. So we should have faith in the Lord. Even as small as a mustard seed. Did you know that if you have faith, if you have faith, you can resurrect someone? Because as I've told you that through faith we can do miracles, signs and wonders. Now, what about just me raising a person? Most people think it's impossible, but through faith we can. So we should have faith in the Lord. In this situation. Don't think that the Lord isn't there. You should preach the word of God. So, you should have the faith in the Lord. Let me pray for you guys. Let's assemble ourselves. Our Lord Father, thank you for this wonderful day you have made your children to rejoice in. Thank you for this gospel you have given me to preach, our Lord Father. May I may you help the people I've preached to. May them may they learn something that through faith you can overcome. May they learn that although that much hard the situation is, it can you, you, he or she can overcome it through faith, even as small as a mustard seed. So I pray for the people who are sick. I pray for all those. Who, who, who are worrying, who don't have anything, who don't have hope, may you give them the Holy Spirit, may you give them the strength, may you give them the faith of the Father. As I conclude, um, if you know, you want to know much about Christ, if you, you want to, to say that this prayer with me, salvation you can follow me up lord father i've come into you i know i've sinned i'm asking for forgiveness may you, may you forgive me for the sins i've done oh lord father may you help me have faith believe in you so oh lord father i've come in to you as a son as a daughter may you help me know more about you i want you to rub my name in the book of death and write it in the book of life Just name me of pity and live 